I got a lot of requests for this review, the Katrina 2018 Retro Jordan 3s. Hit that thumbs up button. Definitely got to go out of my way to make sure to get you a legit, authentic pair from Jordan brand, a retail pair. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Plus, hit that little bell next to where it says subscribe. It lets YouTube know it's okay to notify you when I upload a new video. Hit the bell, bong, bong. Now... I got to say, they are really nice. Really, really nice shoes. I'm going to talk more about my opinions on this release versus the last time they released. But I'm going to do that toward the end of the video because I know some people don't want that extra talk. They just want to get a detailed look. So with that said, let's get up close. You see you got your elephant print. Nicey nice right there. You got full grain and then you got a uh, tumbled leather on the toe right there really heavily tumbled the quality of the leather is like all the other threes you got your hits of red by the eyelets and then you have your perforations right there and then you have your black hit up top heavy heavy tumble as i was saying i mean super duper heavy tumble which looks great on jordan threes then we'll take a look at the elephant print with your air unit and there's the rest of the midsole check it out and then there is a look at the outsole as you can see, you've got Jordan branding on the outsole, which I'm pretty sure was different than the original one where it had Nike Air. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. And then on the back, you have the Jumpman Air. Now, some people really wanted it to have the Nike, and I'm pretty sure, once again, that the Katrina, the one that originally released, which was a fundraiser shoe, had Nike Air on the back. I like that they are switching it up. I think that's dope. I think it separates that to this one. Some are not going to agree with me, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I would have rathered the Nike Air on the back just because I like the way Nike Air looks on the shoe versus the Jumpman. Got the OG feel to it. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know your opinions on the Jumpman versus the Nike Air on the back of the shoe. Why do you like one versus the other? Give me reasons why, too. Don't just say Nike Air. Unless that's all you got to say, then say it. But I like to hear people that got reasons behind their opinions. I love that. You know? Kick that shit. <laughs> Quick look at the medial side. As far as the fit, definitely go true to size on these shoes. Go down half a size if you have a narrow foot. And if you have a wide foot, I really still think you should stay true to size. That's me, my opinion. Now, let me give you tips on how to avoid the cracking on the paint of this shoe. What you need to do is if you're going to put these on ice, and what I mean by that, if you're going to just keep them in the closet for a couple of years and then break them out later on, that's all good. I understand. You don't want to be like a sheep wearing the same sneakers as other people. Some people like that. Me, I'm aware on the first day. I don't consider myself a sheep, but I'm also someone that doesn't give a damn what the next person thinks of me. I'm just doing me at all times. Love me, hate me. It really doesn't matter. But if you're putting these away and going to have them marinate for a couple of years, make sure when you get the shoe, loosen them up, put them on your feet, wear them in the house for about a half an hour to an hour. You want to apply pressure to the midsole into that paint so that it's used to the pressure you're breaking in that paint so that when you do grab that pair of shoes it's used to that pressure if not you have that midsole which is brand new with brand new paint that's been sitting for so many and so many years in your closet when you put them on and you got that old ass paint that's never felt any kind of pressure when you put those shoes on your feet crack crack it's gonna happen it's going to crack. So those are just major, major tips right there. So make sure to listen to what I'm saying. Because I don't want your sneaker to crack. I hate just me thinking about anyone's sneaker paint just cracking. It pains me inside. So that's a major tip. Make sure if you haven't hit that damn thumbs up button, hit that thumbs up button. Show that support. I want to see a lot of thumbs ups on this damn video, please. Bird's eye view on the toe. Check it out. Check it out. And then going up, you got your perforations on the tongue, flat white laces, and then your Jumpman in red. Once again, I love that tumble on the tongue. You also have your keychain right there, of course. 
with your jump man in white over red on the insole and you know i really wish it had the nike air branding like i was expecting to see that when i looked at the footbed i knew what i was gonna see but i just i'm so used to the nike air branding now why not just keep it going and there you go with a close-up hd look we're gonna talk about a lot of different things a lot of discussion on the shoe like are these gonna sell out me personally i think they're gonna but i wouldn't be surprised if they sit for a week or so but at the same time, I also wouldn't be surprised if they sell out within a couple of hours. I'm a little on the fence. I know they made tons of pairs of these. I don't think that there's going to be any kind of resale value for this. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the resellers will agree with me. So they're not going to buy multiple pairs of them. The only time this is going to go up in value is if it's sitting in a closet for like four or five years. But right now, if people are looking for a quick flip, I don't think this is going to be one and as i said i think the resellers will agree with me so that is another reason why i think they will sit because right now you could look at some of these websites they're not selling them for so much over retail they retail for about 200 dollars, and i'm seeing them resell on sites like StockX. i think for like 225 bucks so if that's going down you already know this is not going to be such a sought after shoe for the resellers aka the vultures but I think for people that just love Jordans to wear and to collect, like myself, this is a pair of kicks that a lot of us are going to try to cop. Are you going to pick them up? I'd love to know that in the comments. Is this a cop or a pass for you? Or are you on the fence? Maybe you're on the fence on these. I do have my Patreon. Join the Patreon. $5 a month. You get an hour podcast every single week. And it unlocks all the older podcasts. And they never get old. They're really good shows. So check them all out. Plus you're entered into a giveaway once a month. Check that out. That will be linked in the description box below. Now we're going to talk more about this shoe. Originally this colorway was a charity shoe. Where people bid it on it for victims of Katrina. Now they brought it back. It is changed a little bit as I was saying. I'm pretty sure the original had Nike branding on it. Now it came back out. It's got Jordan branding on it. It doesn't have the Nike branding on it. There's a lot of conversation out there on, oh, that's wrong. People spent big money on that shoe. They should never bring it back. And a part of me understood what they were saying, but then I really like sat down and thought about it. And I was like, you know what? The people that spent the big money they spent on those charity shoes, do you really think they give a shit about the sneaker? I think most of the people that own this Katrina shoe, the charity version, the OG version, I don't think they're real, real sneaker heads, or maybe if they are, at the same time, it's different still. There's little here's and there's, and that defines which one is which. And I'm not mad at that. I think that it's good that they made it a little different. You have the Nike branding on the OG, and then on this new model, you have the Jumpman branding. I'm fine with it. At first I was like, yeah, people kind of make a point right there. Can you imagine spending all that money and then all of a sudden they bring it back out in mass quantities. But if you really, really think about it, these guys, women maybe too, I don't know, you know, the sex of the people that bid it on these shoes and won the auction, but I'm sure they're not sweating the money they spent on the shoe now that they're bringing them back out. I'm sure their main focus was that they are in a better financial status than others and they could afford to help others so they did it via this auction. I'm pretty sure that's what went down. Not like there are a bunch of sneaker heads just like, oh my god, I gotta have this sneaker and you know, this is gonna be rare and this is gonna be the greatest piece to my collection. I'm sure it wasn't the case. So you gotta really look at it in a realistic manner and that's what I did after at first my first thought was that's messed up for maybe about five minutes and then I sat down I thought about it I was like you know what these people are filthy rich man they just are trying to give back that's all they were trying to do I'm sure they don't give a crap that they're coming back out they may even think it's cool oh it's cool now the kids are gonna be able to wear this shoe that's probably what these older people are thinking or maybe they're younger people that are filthy rich are able to do this with that auction because there's no way that someone that's broke got these shoes right here. This was a huge charity for the victims of Katrina. So we gotta put all that in perspective and that's what I've done. If you still feel a certain way that's different than mine, that's totally cool. Please actually share your opinions on that whole situation in the comment box below. I'd love 
to hear, well not hear, but read everyone's opinions. If you haven't picked up my Sneaker Addict t-shirts, by the way, definitely show that love and support. Pick up a t-shirt. A lot of people have been picking them up lately. Ships worldwide. Fits true to size. Great quality. And I'm not breaking you over the head with some ridiculous price for a damn t-shirt. Check them out. They'll match most of your favorite kicks, including these right here. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, you love the videos. Please, just let me know by always hitting all the thumbs ups, leaving them comments, showing that love and support. I'm going to continue doing the videos, but I really want this channel to grow and I need your support to make that happen. I see other people on YouTube, their channels are huge and I feel like it's all gimmicky shit, you know. This is sneaker content, so if you like pure sneaker content, support people like me. Support people like Jumpman Bostick that are just pure sneaker enthusiast sneaker addicts people that are just authentic with it okay much love we out